That Kasumi is an interesting addition to the crew. I can see why she's good at her work. She never reveals anything meaningful about herself. It's all on the surface. It'll be a challenge getting to know who she really is. I heard her once say she liked puppies. That's it. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need it. Add that to the file. She likes puppies. Likes puppies. Long walks on the beach? Did puppies? This, did this thing just freak out? Why would it freak out? No, it just popped up a display. That's all. Oh. I thought maybe Kasumi was hacking it or something. <laughs> I thought Kasumi was pulling a Sombra and just kind of... Kind of, you know... Hacking stuff. Messing with your stuff. Shepard, how can I help? Tell me about yourself. Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Okay. Work on genophage was more than just study. I suspected as much. Ha ha! Because I am smart. But what did you do, though? <laughs> what was the special task group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. Oh. That's, uh... Kind of scary. How'd that happen? Did the Krogan evolve? Or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No. <laughs> Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration... Genophage, like any other natural hazard, Krogan evolved past it. So they're like crocodiles or alligators. Perfect apex predator. Yeah, pretty much. What did your team do when it learned that the Krogan were overcoming the genophage? Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of genophage. Released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. He re-released the genophage. Again? Yeah. I mean, it's secret and they never noticed? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Was that the best choice? You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population. Avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger. Averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy. Krogan included. You know, I... <sighs> I don't want to say he's wrong. You see where he's coming from. I see where he's coming from. Like, if they had just started... If their population had just shot back up again, they all would have started killing each other. Maybe, Like, yeah. crazy. And just for no other reason that maybe that one doesn't have fins on his head big enough. <laughs> yeah, It's... I don't want to say he did the right thing. You can inquire... Why didn't you just sterilize him outright? Just make... Make it so they couldn't reproduce at all. Uh, that seems a little harsh. Um, t tell me about the distribute. How did you distribute it? How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians on Tuchanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. <sighs> Messy. Better when things went as planned. <laughs> wow! <laughs> That's some real shady Black Ops shit! <laughs> Why the fuck couldn't we have played that for Mass Effect 2? That sounds <laughs> awesome! You play as a Solarian scientist on a planet full of Krogans and you have to infiltrate and distribute chemicals in their water supply. I've never thought about that before, but that sounds like an awesome side mission. That sounds freaking cool! Spin-off game. Forget Andromeda, that's the game we should have had. Yeah, we should have had that instead of Mass Effect Andromeda, where you play as a Solarian scientist and you have to fucking poison a bunch of Krogans. <laughs> Holy shit, that sounds radical! <laughs> what were the effects of the modification? How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. Dang! It's, I, like, I'm legitimately asking him questions about this because it actually sounds really interesting. Yeah! That sounds like way cooler than what I'm thinking about or what I'm doing right now. Well, I I actually really appreciate you telling me that, because that sounds awesome. I doubt you've told many people about this, Morton. I appreciate you letting me know. Wanted you to know I'm willing to do what's necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Dang. <laughs> Morton's a fucking badass. Yeah, he, he looks like a scrawny nerd, but no, he's... 
He's a black ops commando, all right. Jeez. <laughs> Damn, Morton. I, I don't know if Jacob has anything new. I'm still reeling over or, or, or Morton just being a fucking badass. <laughs> Maybe he's pulling your leg and lying to you. If he is, that's a real good lie, and I applaud him for it. <laughs> yeah. You were thinking, you were so excited about that hamster, and you're like, no, no, Terrence Shepard isn't responsible enough for this. Terrence Shepard is not responsible enough to have a hamster. And also, hamsters don't make very good pets. They bite you. Yeah, I've heard rats make better pets. Rats actually make much better pets. Rats are actually very friendly and intelligent. Except they die after two years and are frequently getting cancer. Uh, yeah, that's true. Hey, Mess Sergeant Gardner, guess what I got? Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Sure. I like octopus. It's fine. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. All right, then. Oh, that reminds me. You wanted me to explain a chirality briefly? Yes, please. Just give, give me, like, a brief All rundown right. on a chirality. In, in the most simple way I could put it, imagine if your, di if your digestive system were like a glove. Okay. Okay, and you've got left-handed gloves and right-handed gloves. Mm hmm Your stomach is a left-handed glove, and it accepts left-handed food. Okay, so let's say my stomach's cube-shaped. It only accepts cube-shaped food. Yeah, sure. Okay. But, I mean... Yeah, people say the people use the glove example because molecules can be left-handed or right-handed. Oh, okay. So there's you, there's like if you've got a four parts of that molecule, it can be like a mirrored version of it, which is technically the exact same thing. It has the exact same particles. It's the exact same consistency, but it's the mirror image of itself, so it interacts with your body in a different way. Oh. I feel like most of this is going over my head, but okay. That's why I'm trying to reduce it down to the most basic, simplest way you can. So, so basically, he was trying to put two spices together that would have... One of them would have done something real fucked up to his body. Yes. Oh, okay. So he sounds like an idiot. She said she travels light. Well, that's a lot of books. That's, the books are heavy. Yeah, you know what? That is completely true. I tr and also, she's got a freaking marble bust statue. <laughs> yeah, not exactly subtle. That's not real... And uh, this painting... I realize the painting, you could potentially... Is it changing colors? Oh, I think it's just changing colors based on where the camera is. Yeah, I think it just might be the lighting. Okay. Um, but yeah, this, like, painting, I realized that, yeah, you could roll it up. I, whatever. I got nothing else. I travel light, she says, carrying 50 pounds of books. <laughs> Let's scan it first. Well, it's already depleted. There's not much left. Wow, that was a waste of a probe. <laughs> All right, well, known as the Human's Ilium, a place where new mo new new money tycoons flaunt their wealth and the have-nots are rarely spoken of. Mike, are we haves or have-nots? Well, today we're going to pretend to be haves. Oh, boy! So this is a rich planet. You clean up well, Mr. Solomon Gunn. Hawk won't know what hit him. Solomon Gunn? I assume Solomon Gunn is my cover. You run a small but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation. Papers, witnesses, article in Badass Weekly. Just don't Is that an actual magazine in this universe? And you'll be fine. What, you haven't read Badass Weekly yet? Apparently not. Man, it's Who totally good. is Mr. Hawk? Remind me, what kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapons dealer and smuggler. He killed my partner and stole his gray box. Other than that, he's not so bad. Rich, charismatic, willing to crack open a man's skull to get at the neural implants inside. And what's with the outfit? I take it I'm wearing this getup for a reason. You'd look really out of place at a society party in armor, don't you think? You look great. You should wear this stuff more often. It looks very similar to what I'm normally wearing when I'm on board my ship, but okay, what's the plan? Now's probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend, Hawk, is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. Our tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend, Saren, 
rendered with loving detail, and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a sidearm. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. Then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's gray box. And I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. Okay, well, so this isn't a heist for money. This is a heist for personal reasons. And also a small amount of personal gain because the gray box has a lot of secrets on it. Oh, that's true. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. I like Kasumi. She's neat. For I don't the, like her lipstick. For the five minutes that you know... <laughs> the, 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 she put on 20% of her lips. Yeah. I'm not a fan of that, but everything else is nice. This is our stop. I think I like her because from the back she reminds me of Tali. <laughs> we come full circle. After you, Mr. Gunn. Get it? My name's Mr. Gunn, and I'm a mercenary? Just one moment, sir. There seems to be an issue with the statue. Is there a problem Yeah. No, Mr. Hawk. Just doing a scan. Doesn't have enough bullet holes in the head. I don't believe we've met Donovan Hawk. Hi, I'm Solomon Gunn. Solomon Gunn. A pleasure. Sir, the scanners aren't picking anything up. Hmm. I don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? That's actually my brother. That guy right there. You may pass through, Mr. Gunn, with my apologies. But I will ask your companion to remain outside. You understand the hope. Uh, we have a problem? Care to explain why my friend has to stand outside? I don't like the look of your friend, so she stays outside. Simple as that. All right, of course then. No problem. You're the host. Enjoy the party. Well, that didn't go as I expected. Why did he turn you... Have you seen him before? Any idea why he'd send you away? No. We've never seen each other in person. And no one knows what I look like. Just watching his ass, I'm sure. I can't blame him. Maybe he was suspicion of the hooded figure. Or the weird lipstick. That's gotta be the lipstick. That's gotta be the lipstick. So what's the plan then? What do we do now? We go on with the plan. You'll just have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. Oh yeah, she can turn invisible. Oh yeah. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. I'm sure nobody saw you walking up the steps and turning invisible. Yeah. We need to find the door and case the security. We'll figure out the next step then. I hope you have a bone conductive microphone, otherwise everybody's going to hear you talking, too. Mmm. Yes, you're thinking of everything, aren't you? Well, time to go mingle. Oh boy, I'm mingling. Hello, I'm mingling. Oh, that? A quick application of force, a little I mean, brother. He, he's the guard. Greetings, brother. I, I mean, we look similar. Look at, look at this. Hang on. It's like looking in a mirror. Everybody come over here. Look how similar the two of us look. Except he's got facial hair and maybe bigger eyes and a different style nose. I'm pretty sure we look the same. It's like the exact. You should have come as one of Donovan Hawk's bodyguards. Oh, damn it! That would have been better. Then I could still have my armor. What was she talking about? A quick application of pressure? Oh, are those hors d'oeuvres? No! Yes! They're appetizers. Hors d'oeuvres. That guy looks like he used to play football and he's wearing the stupidest <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Wait, my shoes are also stupid. Damn it! Some say Commander Shepard is still alive. <laughs> Perish the thought. Oh, please. It's wishful thinking. Yeah, there's best. no way Commander Shepard's alive. And if he was, he'd have scars like these ones on my face. See? What's your read on that Archangel guy? I hear he's dead. Or gone or something. Good riddance, I say. Why would you be talking about that? That's not a completely different, like, system and colony. I like this picture. It speaks to me. Pretty much just a white slab. No, it's uh, this picture says a lot to me. There's this guy in the bottom corner that's, you know, just kind of... I mean, on one hand, he could just be relaxing and enjoying the view of... I guess that's an ocean, maybe? Um, but it's in kind of a bad resolution, so I can't really tell. But um, there's this guy, he's like either enjoying the ocean, or maybe he's like horribly lonely, and he's contemplating what in his life has brought him to this moment. He could be wistful. He could be full of sorrow. Who knows? 
could be one or the other. And then there's that black smudge in the corner. What is that? Is that like... Is someone that, Someone picked their nose and just wiped it on the painting. Is that a gap in the clouds? Or is it like some type of strange being that's watching over him and has just been directing his every move and making his life a miserable mess? Every single moment of his life is pure pain and agony. This picture speaks to me. <laughs> I must have it. I'll give you a whole five credits for it. I will give you five credits and a model of a spaceship, and also I will go buy you a space hamster. Chief Roe is in charge at this party, and no way Roe would let that get past her. I'd rather stand around be or I'd rather stand around bored on guard duty than risk her wrath. Sorry, Samuels. Chief Roe, huh? She sounds like a hot ass. If we could tap into the guards' communications, I could probably use this Ooh, information. I found something useful. Hmm. I hear Mr. Hawk's vault is exquisite. Who could know? He never lets anyone near it. But if he did let anyone near it, it'd probably be very easy to rob. Hawk's bedroom, I believe. Wow, who's his architect? This is a very impressive place. Or a very large one, at least. I bet his architect is... Architect Angel. Oh, for God's sake. I bet his architect is... Oh, God damn it. Why can I not remember his name? Now you're actually trying to think of a famous architect. I'm trying to think of a famous architect. He's the guy that did uh, the Falling Water building. M.C. Escher? No, it's 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 actually the, the, that's the name of a house he made. It's like Falling Water or something. I don't know. Very nice. There's more here than I expected. Password protected voice lock. Kinetic barrier, DNA scanner, looks like an EX700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. This gonna be a problem? Please, remember who you're talking to. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password too. DNA, child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. Ugh. And the barrier? <laughs> Cut the power. Never fails. If we can find it, KG could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get to it. All right, then. Four things you gotta do. Find a password, find the DNA, get a voice sample, and hack it. This guy's got two Asari talking to him. Not just talking to him, hanging off his arms. Yeah. Lucky guy. Weirdo. Save some for the rest of us. You would probably be all over an Asari, wouldn't you? Why wouldn't I? They're so beautiful and blue. Or green. Or green or purple. Or blue and green. Uh, there's a couple of different shades. I also really like that one, but it's just because it's a bird. It's a it's staring directly back at you. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. I have authorization. I have clearance to go in. On whose authority? Oh, Chief Rowe's authority. I have authorization from Chief Rowe. Okay, one second. Chief Rowe, Samuels. Have you given access authorization to Mr. Hawk's private room? Oh shit, room? I didn't expect that to have radios! <laughs> I see. I don't know who you think you are, but Rose says she's never heard of you. Nice try, though. Damn it! Enjoy the party. <laughs> no. Rooms. Thanks, man. We need to get in there. That's the best place to find Hawk's DNA. Kasumi, you're invisible. Just hop over there. Or I just do this when nobody's looking. A security guard? Oh my god! Good thing I stuck this pistol in. Oh. And Kasumi's right there next to you. Help you out. Can I sneak up on him and knock him unconscious? You can sneak up behind him and shoot him in the head, or you can just go around him. They don't need to know you're there. That's true. They don't need to know I'm here. Hey guys, don't oh. look over here! Did someone say something? Don't, don't look. I think so. Oh, they're gonna see me when I climb up onto this thing anyway. I, I think someone said don't look, but no one pays me enough to care, so I'm just gonna keep staring over the edge. Welcome to my entire military career. Nobody pays me enough to care. <laughs> they're gonna see me as soon as I walk over there. Are they, though? Yes! Well, you have the element of surprise now. <laughs> oh, Kasumi! <laughs> really stinky, very stealthy. Yeah, I'm sure the party totally is alerted now. Well, nobody cares. Nobody cares that there was just a gunfight happening on the balcony. They couldn't hear it over the beautiful music and the sounds of the rushing oh, water from yeah, the waterfall. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they totally couldn't. Hey, that's Seriously? Yeah, <laughs> vandalism! 
Yeah, this totally is. This is. This is. Look for anything we can get usable DNA from. Just make it quick and quiet. Says the person who just shot up three security guards. I bet we can get DNA from this plant. It's, clean. it's a plant. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe he peed in it. You know, if you had been a little more crafty, you might have been able to talk your way past the guard. But breaking and entering that works too. <laughs> Found a sample? No. A credit shit. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> On these pillows. No hair, no skin flakes. The housekeepers must be thorough. He's trying to crack the gray box and he can't figure it out. Oh, it won't produce a result within their lifetimes. It could, though. That's true. If it's all random probability, chance. Pro if it's all random chance, the probability that you will crack it at that exact second only increases exponentially. I don't know if it's exponentially, but yeah, it does. It does increase over time. We can probably get Hawk's DNA off the data pad. He seems to have obsessed over this, but I'm not sure there's enough. Let's keep looking. Holographic interface. Won't find a sample here. Why not? Hmm. No DNA. Looks like Hawk's been trying to crack Keiji's gray box. Okay. Looks like he's missing something. He hasn't cracked the encryption yet. Well, can you crack the encryption on it? She can crack anything. The cleaners don't dare touch treasures like this. We can get some skin cells from the dust. It's probably contaminated, though. We should find another sample. Picky, picky, picky. <laughs> Bo's wall safe. Maybe he keeps his DNA in here. He keeps, like, a lock of his hair. <laughs> he keeps a tub Ooh. of spit. That was a decent amount of, uh... Hey, alarm clock! Time to wake Why? Up. Why would you... Damn. You can't be in here. Moving to cover. <laughs> the alarm what? Clock. What? You, no! I, why would I turn it on? Why did you interact with it? Because it's an alarm clock! He has to touch it every morning! <laughs> As you just hit the snooze button, my friend. Where can we find- Oh, a wine glass! Oh, yeah! Empty. Too bad. A cigarette butt would have been a good source. Not a great saliva sample, but it's still useful. That should do it. Let's get out of here. Okay, now that we shot open one of his windows. And executed all of his guards. Yeah, they, oh my god. You probably just walk out the front door because no one's going to stop you. They're all dead. Yeah, they probably don't care. Hey everybody, don't mind me. I was just Oh down there. yeah, no, the guard was just, he just left. He's on break. <laughs> Permanently. That door goes to a security room. I'll take care of the lock. There we go. Excuse me really quick. I have to go to the bathroom. I'm sure Where the ba- I'm sure the bathroom is in here. Oh. Take him down. Hey look, more people to kill. I can't get there. I see them. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just gotta hack security. I have an idea. See what you can find. I found some medical stuff. And I found a safe. And I found some salmon roe. And the password is apparently Perugia. After this party, you want to grab some beers? Let Got me know. Something? The password is Perugia. Huh. I like how they're watching That's like the a cartoon the show. Stole the Mona Lisa. <laughs> yep. Nice. We still need that voice sample from Hawk. Okay. So let's go get the voice sample. I'm sure he totally doesn't realize we've been doing this the whole time. I'm sure he's oblivious because that's the kind of man he is. Is he? Santiago was attacked in his own base. Wait, who's Santiago? Really? Vito Santiago. Oh yeah, the guy we killed. Zaid Masani killed him. The mad, mad dog. dog. <laughs> oh, he murdered him in cold blood. And I helped. And I helped. There he is. All you need to do is keep him talking long enough for me to get a voice print. Pull out the charm on this one, Shep. Whenever you're ready. Oh, I'm ready. And then she makes herself visible for some reason. <laughs> Mr. Gunn, hope you're having a good time. That scene at the door hasn't soured your evening, I hope. Are you expecting trouble? I understand the security, but who would dare try to break into Donovan Hawk's home? Gunn, in our line of work, we attract a certain element. Few understand the pain to keep the barbarians at bay. People these days want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. I only have to worry about simple luxuries. Why? Because people like me, and you, 
are doing the terrible things that keep the galaxy spinning. Man, I didn't even have to do anything. I said one thing to him, and he just went on off. He went off on a fucking evil villain monologue. Yo, galaxy's gleeful delusions of peace. May there always be a market for the things we do. Well said. Well said. Please keep going. Encore. Rudebega, 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 Rudebega. I said, get him talking, and you got him talking. I didn't even have to do much. We've got enough of a voice sample. Let him go. Enjoy the party, Mr. Gunn. Let's go crack that voice scanner. Okay. So, okay, yeah, your house is free, clear of all termites, roaches, leeches, swamp rats, rat swamps, and also uh, these fish here. They should be dead in about a week. <laughs> I did not realize that I had a leech problem. Thank you for solving that for me. Password required. Perusia. Voice ID accepted. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. Oh, we did it. I'll check for security cams. Go ahead and get dressed. I wonder yeah, no, like they totally wouldn't have seen her that <laughs> entire time she was doing that. No, because she's super stealthy. I said hurry up and get naked. Why aren't you naked? Hey, look, it's my armor. I don't know what statue that is. Like a Damn, this is a big old vault. He's got the Statue of Liberty head. This guy is literally an evil villain. <laughs> so this is Hawk's vault. Very nice. This scanner will hone in on the gray box. For God's Not sake. Far. What other dumb shit does he have in here? Oh, it's a Prothean statue. That looks kind of cool, though. Creepy, creepy Protheans. Is that David? That's Michelangelo's David. Michelangelo's David. Wow, it's real beat up. Wow. Think we could get this out through the door? I, it's probably real heavy. Think Do you want to try and carry it? Cause I don't. Do you think we can reattach his junk? I don't know why that broke off. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, is this, uh, Krogan Langelo's David? <laughs> Doesn't look like much, but that might be one of the most valuable pieces here. All right. Turian art is rare outside of Palavin. For good reason, I see. Why, cause it's weird? Cause it's not very good. I'm kind of embarrassed about it. Oh, uh, are they actually, like, embarrassed about their artwork? I don't know. I can only assume. Like, oh, okay. If that's their best attempt. What? Is this from Dragon Age? Yeah, it's a troll from Dragon Age. Wow. Imagine that thing coming at you in a dark alley. A model of the Kara. It's like a Turian Titanic, the way I hear it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Did that spaceship crash into an iceberg, too? Crashed into a space iceberg. How did Hawk get Lady Liberty's head? Damn you, Hawk. Damn you, you all to hell. You blew it up, didn't you? Damn you all to hell. Oh, there's another Turian sculpture over there. Yeah, you can't get to those over there yet. I thought that was the I thought that was like the most expensive one in the gallery. How but, come there's how come there's two of them? I guess it's the second most expensive one now. Oh, this is just another dumb statue. That's a Casa Locust. No. The Casa Locust. What's a Casa Locust? A gun that killed two presidents. Gorgeous. Ooh. It even comes with a perfect copy, too. Wait, two presidents of what? Hawk won't mind if we borrow these. Now, what's this? You have now acquired the SMG. Oh, I can use it! Oh, my God. Is it like a black box, but it's for there a brain? Is. That's why it's called a gray box? I think so. Did you just put that together when I said it? Yes, I did. <laughs> I think that might be what it's been the entire time. It's like a black box, like a flight data recorder, but it's for someone's brain, so it's called a gray box. Don't bother Miss Goto. It's cold luck. Ah! <laughs> Ignore the man behind the curtain! <laughs> I had a feeling that was you at the door. I knew if it was really you, you'd get through anyway. You know me. I don't like to disappoint. I need what's in your grey box, Kasumi. You know I'm willing to kill you for it. I'll admit your skills are impressive. You got into my vault like I'd left it open. But you're still going to die, screaming, just like your old friend. Let's see you try. Oh, I could have destroyed the artwork. Yeah. This is where your special skills come into play, Shepard. Let's do this. And now you get to use that Casa Locust. Oh, yes. Fun fact, here's why it's called the Casa Locust. It was used to assassinate a president and his vice president. But because the president was dead, the vice president technically was the president when he was killed. Oh, so it's it's killed two presidents. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, like, only technically. Yeah. Blargy, blargy. Chief Salmon Row is dead due to D.O.T. <laughs> but her friends aren't. Game 
Game time. Game time. Now you see me. Boop. You just stole. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh shit! I don't have a rocket launcher. All right, hang on, Kasumi. I'll, I'll I'll help you in a second. Like right now. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> Bringing the fight to them. Hey guys, I heard you love flamethrowers! His final words were, GOD, THIS IS SUCH A COOL WAY TO DIE! <laughs> They're really cool, though. Like, just in terms of a rifle, because that's a clip fed, and then when the when the clip is empty, it falls out the bottom of the rifle. The, the gun that killed JFK. Yeah. The Carcano. Yeah, it's an Italian rifle, it's a Carcano. It's some weird caliber, like... six point something, I, I don't remember exactly. But that, the, is, that is weird. It's a, it's a bolt action, and you open up the bolt, and you jam a clip into it, and it just feeds the rounds up with a little spring that's in there, right? Okay. And then when the last round is fired, the clip falls out through a hole in the bottom of the gun, so you don't <laughs> have to take the clip out. That's pretty cool. Yeah. A lot of older bolt action rifles are like that. Neat. They use an end block clip, and you just the clip just falls out the bottom. Why don't all rifles use that? I uh, because it's kind of wasteful. I and guess. you have to make sure that the end block clip is in good shape, and you're technically not really supposed to use them. It's easier just to put an internal magazine with a spring in it. Mm. Why do I have an assault rifle? That's a good question. You can't even equip assault rifles right now. You don't have the training. Oh, here comes the oh, gunship. Oh, yeah, another gunship, which means that she's probably going to get horribly injured. Could have done this the easy way, go. Allow me to show you the hard way. Okay, this sucks. Oh, you think this sucks now, just you wait. Oh lord, now it sucks more. <laughs> Does he ever run out of ammo for that thing? Nope, he's got infinite ammo! Alright, you got his shields about halfway down, just keep putting rounds into him. Lay down your weapons. Shields are almost down. Up ahead. And they're fully charged again! What? Why? I just wasted all of my ammo on that! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! <laughs> Somehow it got behind you while you were shooting his friends! This is a mistake, but I'm doing it anyway! Yeah, it's a bad idea, but that didn't stop you before. Why start making good ones now? I mean, hey, I've made lots of mistakes, but, you know... Right. Ah! That's a bad idea. <laughs> Ow! Where did that even come from? Look straight ahead. I uh, what 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 direction is straight ahead? Twelve o'clock, eighteen thirty. If you use military time, I'm gonna spend more time trying to figure out what time you said and less time <laughs> looking in the direction. You are starting to lose your patience with this. I am fucking losing my patience with this stupid fucking game. God, they can't even keep coming from the same fucking direction. And I realize, yes, in real life, they don't come from the same direction. Here we go. I mean, that was kind of cool. Looks to the superhero landing. Let's tear that thing apart. They're all right. That was like an eight out of ten. Well, I mean, the rest of this was really annoying, but that part was kind of cool. <laughs> and now you can just strip it down. Oh yeah, he's down. He's uh, just about dead. Okay, Kasumi, some of us can't turn invisible. <laughs> there we go. He's dead. Probably. He'll never come back after that. And here's your pickup. Oh, there it is. All right. Well, let's leave. Yeah, mission accomplished. We got the gray box, and uh, Donovan Hawk's dead. Cool. Yay! I'm sure he'll never come back again. Oh, that got really annoying. Kasumi, if you're seeing this, it's because I'm dead. Oh, gee! The information wow. we found is all here. It's big, Kasumi. If the Council ever got wind of this... The Alliance could be implicated. Kasumi, I... I encrypted the information to keep it safe. And I uploaded the encryption key to your gray box. So no one could get the whole package. But a 
if I'm dead, and if anyone knows about this, then I've made you a target, my love. I'm so, so sorry. KG. I know you, Kasumi. You'll want to keep these memories forever. But you don't need some neural implant to know I'll always be with you. Oh, she misses her boyfriend. Kasumi, destroy these files. There's nothing more I can do to protect you. I... I can't do that. This is all that's left. Goodbye, Kasumi. I love you. Beep boop, I am a robot. How are you hugging me? I am a hologram. I am a hologram. Humans cannot hug holograms. She should keep it. Yeah? I'm sure she can defend herself properly. She didn't just help me blow up a fucking helicopter. <laughs> I mean, unless an entire spaceship comes after her, she'll be fine. If it's that important to you, keep it. Just make sure you're ready to live with the consequences. It sounded a lot more cold-hearted. Yeah, I'll stay off the grid. No one will know I exist. I think I want this. Thanks, Shepard. Oh, I made a bad choice. Now she's going to spend all of her time living in that hologram. She's stuck in the past now. And everything worked out okay. Everything worked out fine, and I'm sure nothing will ever go wrong ever again. Whole ship explodes. Shepard just sneezed and the whole ship blew apart. His servers cut corners. 